hello everyone welcome back to my channel thank you guys for always coming back to watch my video i want to say a very big thank you to all my subscribers thank you guys so much um, thank you guys so much thank you for watching thank you for your comments thank you for your like i'm really grateful so in today's tutorial i'll be learning how to make this handkerchief dress so i'll be using this fabric for it I'll be using this fabric for it. This fabric, the length is by 60. The length is by 60 and it's a bit stretchy as you can see. So I will not be using lining, only the fabric. So let's get started. So I'll be using this fabric. As you can see, my markings will not show on this fabric. So what I'll be marking on my fabric, I will show, I will illustrate it. So the first thing you do, you fold your fabric into two like this. What is the folding of your fabric? You fold it based on where you want your sleeve to stop. So for example, my shoulder measurement is 16. 16 divided by 2, I have 8. My 8 inches. So from this 8 inches, you can determine how long you want your sleeve to be. So for me, I'll be adding extra 10 inches. So that's what will determine the folding of your fabric. Then on this part, you determine where you want your, the upper part to stop. Normally, normally it's at the waist. So... Your shoulder measurement plus your sleeve measurement determine what you are going to fold on this part. Then on this part, you measure your, your waistline. My bust point is 12. Remember, we are going to be folding, we are going to be sewing the shoulder line. So I'll be adding extra half an inch to make it 12.5. Then my other bust is 16. I will not be needing my underboss. Then when you add three inches to your underboss, I have 19. Then I'll add half an inch to it to make it 19.5. So I'll rule the lines. I'll come to my shoulder measurement. My shoulder measurement divide, my shoulder measurement divided by two is eight. So I'll just mark out the eight inches here. Then for the neckline, I'll use 3.5 inches for the neckline. So this is 3.5. Then on this part, this open part, I'll come down here by 1.5 inches. One point five inches, and I'll connect it to the neckline. So now I'll be placing the bust and the waist measurement. So my bust measurement is 45. When you divide it by two halves, 11.25. This is it. Then I'll be adding extra two inches, one, one inch for ease and one inch for the sewing. So this is two inches. I'll do the same thing for the waist. I'll do the same thing for the waistline. Then I'll be adding extra two inches to it. So this is it. Then on this part, you place your bicep measurement. That means your round sleeve measurement. You have to consider this when cutting a kimono because if you don't if you don't place if you don't calculate it very well when after sewing you discover that this part will be very tight so on this part you place you place your round sleeve measurement my round sleeve measurement is 16 if i divide it by two i have eight so remember you are you remember we sew out from here and we are, we are still going to join from this part so i'll be adding extra so i'll just mark out 10.5 so I'll mark out 10.5 as you can see. So the next thing I'll do is just to connect. I'll connect the waist to the, I'll connect the waist to the bust. So for the, from the bust line, you can measure that one or two inches. We are just using this to curve it out. So I'll just curve it like this. It. so this is what we have after covering it out so this is our kimono so the next thing i'm going to do now is to cut out so after cutting out we are going to work on the neckline so after cutting out this is what we have so i'll open it up to cut out the neckline i'll mark out my eight inches this 8 inches is the shoulder measurement from the middle 
So this eight inches is the shoulder measurement. So from this middle point to this point is half of your shoulder measurement. So that's what we have here. So I'll mark it on this side also. Then I'll open it up. So this is it. So the, this is the middle point. On this part, I'll measure, I'll, I'll measure that one inch. One inch of this point. Then on this eight inches that you are seeing here, this is for the, the neckline shaping. This eight inches, I'll measure down two inches. I'll measure down two inches. So I'll connect this to meet this line. If you look at the if you look at the style very well, you notice that the neckline stopped at the sleeve. Stop at the sleeve. So on the, so from here to here is my sleeve. So I'll just measure down three inches. This three inches. Then I'll connect this. I'll connect this line to the three inches like this. So this is what we have for the neckline. So I'll be cutting it out like this. This is what, this is what we have after cutting out the neckline. So I'll place it on my fabric. I'll press it on my fabric. Cut out this part like this. Then, if I want to cut, if I want to cut the show, if I want to cut out the neckline, I will open it up like this. Then I will cut out the neckline. So basically, this is what I'll be draft. So this is what I'll be using to cut out the upper part of the dress. So now we are going to be cutting out the lower part of the dress. I'll be illustrating how to cut the lower part of the dress. So the first thing you do, you fold your fabric into two like this, like this. Then you fold it into four, like this. So after folding your flail, your your you fold your fabric like this into four, as if you're cutting a flail. So this is it. So the next thing you, the next thing you are going to determine is the length of, is the length that you're going to work with. The full length of the dress is 45 inches. And this upper part is 16 inches. So you must, I will minus the 16 inches from the 45 inches. So that's what will give me the length of the lower part. So you divide, you minus the upper part from the full, your full length. Then you know the amount of, then you know the length to work with on the lower part. So after you have determined the length, the next thing to do is to divide your waist measurement. For example, your, your waist measurement is 40. You divide 40 by 6.28. So that's what your, you divide 40 by 6.28. So that's what will give you your second phrase. So if you divide it, maybe after dividing it, you have two. You add that two that you've got as your second phrase, add it to the, the, length, the length of the dress you're working with. So that will determine the amount of fabric you are going to fold. So after folding your fabric like this, you measure out your the circumference of your waist. After dividing your waist measurement, you just you mark it out on this part. So I'm just illustrating it. I'm just marking out 1.5 inches for the purpose of illustration. Now you take the length that you're working with. So let me. Just assume I'm working with 7.5. So I'll take my 7.5 on this part and also take my 7.5 on this other part. So this is it. Then on this folded, you see this part that is open, this folded, this part, this part that is folded like this. On this part, you also measure down 7.5. You measure down your length, which is 7.5 on this part. Then after you measure, after you have measured down the, your length, 
this point you can now add your extension so you can decide to add five inches seven inches ten inches to it so from here you add your extension so let me just assume i'm using extension of 3.5 so you can see your length plus your extension on this part so the next thing i'll do i'll connect this line i'll connect it to meet the other line i'll connect it like this to meet this line then this is my length that i have here i also connect it to meet this line so i'll cut it out Is that it will look like after cutting out then you can open this part for the zip this you can use any part for your zip you can decide to use this part any part so we open this part for the zip so if you are cutting out if you if you know you are if you are attaching zipper to the dress so while you're, while you're calculating your waist circumference also add your zipper measurement to it then calculate everything at once so this is the zip. So this is the side for the zip. So you can see. So this is how it will look like. So this is the side for the zip. So this is exactly what I'll be cutting out on my fabric. So this is me measuring out exactly what I did on the pattern paper. So I'm making out the measure. I'm measuring out the width circumference. That's what you see me do. Then after that, I'll measure out my length. The length of the skirt or measure the length of the skirt plus my allowance so that's what i'm measuring on this part then i'll do the same thing on the other side i'll do the same thing on the other side so for the for the extension i added 10 inches for mine because i wanted it to be long i want it, i wanted it to get to the, um, my ankle so for the extension i added extra 10 inches for the extension so on this part i'm pointing since that is my full length and as you can see it's short so the only thing i can do is to is that i join it with other fabric or i decide to combine it with lace i can start to add lace fabric on that part just to extend it or fringe anything at all but i think i'm fine with this I added two. This fabric is a, is a stretchy fabric. So remember, I added two inches one inches for ease, one inches for the allowance. So, but because this is a stretchy fabric, that two inches I added, I'll, that two inches I added, I will remove it from the waistline. I can leave the bust line like this because it's a free dress. On the bust line, I will leave the allowance, but on the waistline, I will reduce the measurement. So, that two inches I added, I will, I will cut it off. I will trim it out. I don't need it. I don't need the two inches. So this is what I have after cutting out. So I'll cut exactly what I have here for the back. If you want to cut the back pattern of this top, you place the front, front facing front. That means the front, the front of this dress will be facing the front of the back. You place it like this then cut it out that's the only way to be equal when you want to sew so if you miss up the placement what you want to sew you discover that the neckline on this side will be on the other side for the back so i've cut out the front and the back so now that we are done cutting the next thing to do now is to sew i'll join the shoulder shoulder to shoulder then we'll join the sides both sides like this we'll join this together so as you can see i'm not using I'm not using lining, so I'll be using the same fabric to pipe the neckline. So that's what we're going to be doing now. And then after this, we'll attach it to the handkerchief flay. I'm done sewing, as you can see. I've joined the side and also the shoulder. 
So the next thing I'll be doing, I'll be attaching it to to the handkerchief lay. As you can see, I've, I didn't cut any part open because I'm not using a zipper for this dress. So you can see, I didn't cut, I didn't cut any part open because I'm not using a zipper for the dress. And you can see, I cut two of the flay. This is optional. So I cut two because the fabric is very light. So I want it to have a little weight. So I cut two handkerchief flay. This is the first one. And this is the second one. I'll place it together like this. Then I'll, then I'll attach it to the upper part, as you can see. So while attaching it, if there's any excess along the waistline, I will just split it. Then attach it to this part like this then after that after that i'll hem the bottom of the skirt as you can see i'll fold it like this then hem it round so i'm done attaching the upper part and the lower part together the sleeve part i want to add a band this is a two inches band i'll be sewing it on the sleeve so because this is my exact sleeve length where i want the sleeve to stop I will have to mark out one inch away from the sleeve. I will cut out one inch away from the sleeve, then replace it with my band. So that then I'll sew it on the sleeve like this. I'll sew it all the way around. <laughs> 